Hello, doers, and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing three-step process that will change your life. Not really. My legal team doesn't want me saying that, but trust me, it's going to change some stuff. Anyways, I'm talking about three-step receipts, and if you don't know what that means, let me explain. In Odoo, receipts refer to how warehouses in the database receive incoming shipments. By default, Odoo uses a one-step reception. That means that when shipments arrive at the warehouse, they are added directly to the stock. That's fine, of course. However, larger warehouses may have multiple locations that products travel through before being added to stock, such as reception or quality control areas. For example, here at Stealthywood, our steps look like this. When a shipment arrives, we unload it into a designated reception area, which is just a temporary input location. Now next, we transfer the incoming products to a quality control station, where we then make sure that we receive products that meet our specific quality assurance criteria. If there's a failed QA check, then it goes back to the vendor. Assuming everything checks out, we then transfer the products to their final locations in our stock, where they are now available for our customers to purchase. That's how Stealthywood does receipts, and if you have a similar process, let me show you how to set up a Nodu. So, enough chit-chat. Okay, before we kick things off here inside of the inventory application, we need to enable a few things, namely multi-step routes. So to do that, go up to configuration and settings. Scroll down until you hit the warehouses section, check off that box next to the multi-step routes, and you'll notice the one for storage locations is also selected. Once that we're done, we're just gonna hit save, and with those features enabled, we're ready to go. Now, I actually need to set up my warehouse to receive shipments in three steps. So to do that, once again, go up to the configuration menu and select warehouses. Click on the only one on the list. Now, inside of this warehouses page, you'll notice something. I've got this section called incoming shipments. And right now it's set to receive goods directly one step. Go ahead and select the three step, which is receive goods in input, then quality, and then stock. Once that you're done with that, that's it. That's how you enable three step receipts. Now, if I go to configuration and locations, configuration and location. Sorry, it had to save right there. Small odoopsy. You notice in here we have input quality as well as stock over here, which I could rename if I like, but I'm going to leave them as is for now. Okay, now let's see all three steps in action. Now, remember odours. Step one is moving a shipment we received to our input location. So let's place an order. And you know what, odours? I sit here quite a lot. So I'm going to order myself a new chair. I think I deserve it. So to procure myself a new chair, I'm actually going to jump inside of the purchase application over here and select new to make a new RFQ. Now on the RFQ form, I need to select a vendor. So I'm going to choose my good friends at Deco Addict because they know furniture. And for the product, I'm feeling extreme. So we're going to get the extremely comfortable chair. And this is one of the best chairs, okay? Now that I've got everything selected, I'm going to confirm this order over here, turning it into a purchase order. And let's say a few days go by and the shipment arrives in my warehouse. I'm actually going to go out of here, main dashboard into inventory, and we're going to make our way over here to our overview page. Now in the top left corner, I have my receipts. Then up next to it, I have my internal transfers. On the internal transfers card, I can actually see I have two transfers waiting over here and they're waiting on me to complete step one. So let's take care of that right now, shall we? So to do that, I'm actually gonna click on the one to process under the receipts button, and then we're gonna select the one that we have over here. So that was a list of all my receipts, and this Deco Addict order is perfectly ready. So let's click into it, and it's time to validate this. Look at that. That's to tell Odoo we verify the shipment's contents and that we're ready to move it to the input location, which happens to be the destination over there. And that right there is step one. So that means it's time for step two, quality control. Now clicking on the breadcrumbs to go back to my inventory overview, you'll notice something has changed. I can see the shipment has gone from the receipts card over here and it's now over here as one to process for the internal transfers. And that's waiting to be processed. So I'm actually gonna click on that one to process. It's gonna take me over here to a new list. I see a list of all my internal transfers. I can see that my shipment is actually ready to be moved from my input location to my quality location as indicated by its ready status on the far right. So when I see this, I would physically move the actual shipment to the quality location, and then I would come back to this screen, click on the order, and now I can validate this and say, we're done. And that tells Odoo that it's been moved, and that's step two. Now at this point, I would normally do whatever quality control check I have in place, but since we're dealing with the database today, 
Let's assume the quality check passed and we're ready for stock placement. And that means it's time for step three, stock. So this step is basically the same as the last one, but hang in there. It won't take too long. Okay, quality control is all done. So once more, I'm actually going to use those tasty breadcrumbs. But this time, we're going to actually just go directly back to our internal transfers page. Now this time around, you'll notice there's actually only one to process. From there, I can see the shipment is ready to be transferred from the quality location over here over to our stock. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the order and validate it. And boom, all three steps of our receiving process are now done and Odoo has actually everything is right. And it's been good to me all day. It's beautiful, really. Well, Odooers, thank you for attending my little lesson on three-step processes that will change your life or at least change how you receive shipments. I still got to clear that life-changing thing with my lawyers. Anyway, so long, everybody. I'll see you next time.